in a previous video, I was struggling with a number of power related issues with my new Astro rig over there. We can also see the SE Air up here. But no matter what I do, I only get the one at the top. That is the uh, the, um, the mount Wi-Fi hotspot as it is Wi-Fi hotspot. The one below is the smart box in my car. We're going to solve that today. And we're also going to make a number of additions to my car that's going to turn it into like the perfect driving observatory. But before we get into all the car stuff, I just want to show you what I come up with in terms of power delivery. So what I realized was that my car can actually get one of these adapters. This is called a V2L adapter or vehicle to load. This end here just plugs into the charge port on the side of the vehicle here. And then the other end you can open up and there is a main powers outlet in here. So that means I can now draw 220 volts, 16 amps out of that power socket on the outside of the car. And that's important because I don't want to run cables inside because it gets cold here in the winter. I want to be able to close that car up completely so I can sit inside, stay warm when I'm out during the winter when it gets really cold. And it should be, should be, let's see, it's just as simple as just plugging this in and, and trying it out. So basically we should be able to just plug that in there and it should lock in place. And now I should be able to just take a normal extension cord Plug that in here, close that thing up. It has of course been weather sealed here with this rubber drummet. And here I just got a just normal 12 volt. I think this is six and a half, up to six and a half amps. Yeah, up to six and a half amps. We should be more than enough to drive this thing. Um, I think I've seen it draw. And now if everything is working, we should be able to just power this thing on. And we got nothing. Oh, hold on. I think I know what I forgot. If we push the little button here. Oh yeah, look at that. It lights up green. And there we go. That's the sound of an SE Air powering on. All I need to do now is I just have the back where I keep the, uh, the mount in. And my plan was just to take all of these like loose cables, put them down here, zip up the back so that they just come out the side, just to protect all this, which is not really rated for outdoor, um, just to protect that from dew and stuff like that. The rest of this equipment should be okay with dew. This, I'm not so sure. So I'm basically just gonna put that in the back like that, zip it up, and then it can just stand here next to the telescope and that should protect it from getting dew in under and stuff like that. <laughs> On the inside, we're also going to make a number of other changes. First of all, we are going to quickly just jump in here to the menu system. And we are going to basically change all the interior lights over to red. Because obviously when we are sitting here in the middle of the night, we don't want interior lights to ruin our night vision. But we do want to be able to actually see what's going on inside the car. So the other thing, of course, I'm going to do is just turn off the lights uh, in the top of the car so that they don't turn on when uh, when I'm out when I'm opening the door. I'll turn it back on when I when I leave tonight. But for the Astro session, I'm going to turn that off. I have also gotten a number of these, which are basically just tiny. Whoa, very tiny. Where did they go? <laughs> there we go. Tiny, small little LEDs that you just put into a USB port. And I put these in all the USB ports around this, the bottom of the car. There's like four of them. And that just adds a lot. And I set those to red as well. And I add, that just adds a lot of low level red lighting all around the car. In here, in the back of the car, this is where I'm going to make my command center. This is where I'm going to be controlling everything from. And I just got this, um, especially just a tablet holder. I, you guys with kids are probably very familiar with these. All it really does is it just slots in here on the headrest of the uh, front passenger seat. And now you take your tablet and then you just basically slot that in there. And now you have a tablet that you can just move around and position however you see fit. And the idea then is that this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be using to controlling my telescope with. Now that means as soon as my telescope is set up and polar aligned outside, I don't need to touch it anymore. I can just go in here, I can do all my planning, setting up what shots, what filters, all of that could just be controlled from inside the car where it's gonna be nice and warm.
Now, for those of you who might be wondering, like how much power draw is going to be be running, I can basically run if my car is fully charged. I can basically run the telescope continuously for three months because I'm not running on the small 12 volt battery. I'm running on the big um, EV drive battery. Of course, as soon as I turn on the air condition or the the climate control inside the car to keep it warm, that time's going to go down. I have actually done a test with this system and with everything running the telescope running full tilt and the and the uh, the climate control also keeping the car nice and warm it draws about two percent on the main battery per hour so fully charged i can definitely stay here for multiple nights if i need to i'll probably go home to bed before that but i should have more than enough power to to stay out an entire night However, there's an issue. You see, the way I connect to the SER is by its own Wi-Fi. So the SER creates a Wi-Fi, you connect to that Wi-Fi, you can now control it. But the problem is, I want to be able to access the internet as well. This one doesn't have any like mobile SIM card or anything like that. So this can only use Wi-Fi. And as soon as I connect to the SER's Wi-Fi, this can't access internet. That's a problem. And yes, I could kind of make a hotspot on my phone, but I would then have to sit and swap back and forth between the two, which is kind of annoying. But there is actually a very, very neat little setting in the SER that we can use to solve this problem, which is called station mode. We can ask the SER, instead of using its own Wi-Fi, say, connect to an existing Wi-Fi. And that means if I then create a hotspot on my phone, I can then connect the SER to that mobile hotspot that will then have, um, have access to, uh, to the internet if I wanted to. But I can also connect my tablet to the same hotspot on my mobile phone and that means now my tablet will be access, able to access both the internet and the SER at the same time. And for those of you wondering, but Astro, if you have a hotspot on your phone, you're going to run out of power real quick. And you're right, I will. Now, down here between the passenger seats in the car, here you will see there is another 220 volt outlet. So I can just take a charging brick, plug that in there. And with a few USB cables, I can now power everything inside the car because that outlet runs on the same vehicle to load system as the port outside. So just to give you guys a quick tour of what it will look like, when we are out here, we have the tablet here in front. I have my phone sitting over here on another little holder so I can basically have monitoring Wi-Fi or maybe if I'm watching, like if I'm watching, let's say I'm watching YouTube or, or something like that on this screen here, I can then have this one monitoring the SER so I can always keep an eye on what's going on over here while watching content over here. So now there's really only one thing left to do and that is to open the sunroof. So while I am sitting in here, I can now have a nice beautiful view up and keep an eye on the skies as well, so I can see if any clouds are about to move in or anything like that. Down here in the uh, camera end of the telescope, we have a ZWO2600MM um, monochrome camera. Uh, we actually figured out that this tube here, this extension tube that comes out of the focuser, uh, can be unscrewed. 